training camp Andorra. So a lot of people have questioned me about why I chose to go to Andorra instead of a nice and warm sunny place like Mallorca or Girona or something like that. But yeah, for this year we chose to go on the altitude training camp and in the previous video, the first couple of days in Andorra. Ruben, my roommate, already uh, explains yeah, the benefits of going to altitude. So that's why we did it different this year and chose to go to Andorra for training camp. So already in the first week we saw a lot of professional cyclists training over here. Um, of course they are living here for financial reasons but also because they want to live in altitude. And yeah, we saw the likes of uh, Tom Peterkog and a lot of other Ineos guys, but also a lot of other pros. And yeah, one day I bumped into the uh, greatest stride leader of all time, Jan Frodeno. And yeah, we actually have been training a little bit with him. We have been swimming a little bit. And on one day I had a big and long, easy ride on the, on the program and he had it as well. So we, uh, yeah, we decided to meet up for this ride and Jan came up with a very cool uh, yeah, route that he uh, created. And it was about 130k and four and a half thousand meters of altitude. And it was a great ride. We had a lot of uh, good talks during this uh, yeah, total of six hours and 40 minutes of uh, cycling. And along the way, we had a few hiccups where it was not possible to go any further because there was too much snow on the road. Yeah, bro. Pushing the limits of spring. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's a wrap for us. It was a great day, had a lot of fun, had some nice tips of Jan, and it was just very cool to be training with him very shortly. So the plan was to go for three weeks to the altitude in Andorra, and yeah, the first one, one and a half weeks were very easy training. It was just time to let your body adjust to the 2000 meters of altitude, and yes, yeah, necessary to take it really easy back then. And after a while, I think after one and a half or two weeks, we started to do a little more intensity stuff. I'm very happy with how the training camp went. I think we could have done all the yeah, training which has been on the program. Um, so I think uh, that's, that was pretty good. Ruben and I trained really well over here and it was a nice block of training done in altitude and I'm very curious to see how the body will react after we're going down again. So I've done two full weeks of 31 hours of training and the first couple of days were a little bit easier and the last couple of days were a little bit easier as well to start to taper for the race in Salau. So uh, yeah, that was a, a nice block of training. Anyways, enough talking from me over here. Now it's time to watch some more action of the camp. It has been two weeks since I'm here in Andorra and as you can see, I'm at the athletic track, so I took the bike this morning all the way down to Andorra La Vella, where this track is, and this is at 1000 meters of altitude, so it's a little bit better than at the top of the mountain. Uh, yeah, finally we've been running flat again after uh, two weeks of only up and down, and yeah, good to have some, uh, some tempo stuff again, and actually quite a good tra uh, training, so happy, and one more week to go. So great track session done. The main program was three times 12 minutes zone three, high end of zone three. And it was about three and a half kilometers. And in the end, I also did a one time six minute, slightly faster. It was around 1800 meters. So great training. The only shitty thing is if you take the bike back down to the track, you have to bike all the way back up again. So, almost back on top. Had a great day. So guys, it's finally race week again. This Sunday I'll be racing the half challenge in Salau. And yeah, it's the first race of my 2022 season. And it's also time to get my, my wetsuit out of the bag again. A little bit of swimming into the wetsuit over here, just to get the feeling a little bit as well. As you can see, it's quite busy. No, just kidding, it's great for swimming over here. And uh, yeah, looking forward to the race and let's get the feeling going.
nice little swim done partly in the wetsuit as well yeah it's always nice and funny to see how easily it goes when you're swimming in a wetsuit especially in a pool like this i mean i started off with 1k just a nice pace and already swim like 1240 or something like that and that's not something i do very often without a wetsuit so that's yeah, always good to see and yeah the facilities over here the pool is very very nice if you take a look over here again oh man these views are amazing it's crazy a lot of snow and nice mountains and yeah i've been using uh, this pool over here quite a lot in the last couple of weeks i've been yeah swimming around six times a week also uh, a few swims done together with Jan Ferdano and of course a lot with Ruben and yeah those swims were quite tough but very cool of course yeah awesome facilities and very nice to have this opportunity over here race week so putting on the race shoes and uh, some speed lasers as well speed lasers for the triathlon yeah because we are at the track we're going to do a last final track session last part of speed work before the race in Salau Three weeks in Andorra are done. Ruben, how was it? Uh, snowy. <laughs> snowy? Yeah. Yeah. First but, first week we had a lot of snow, but luckily the second and the third week were a little bit better, yeah. right? So how did you feel along the three weeks? Well, first two weeks were quite hard and um, yeah, after yeah the two weeks uh, I could feel that the body is adjusting to the altitude, so... Um, yeah. How was it with the swimming? Yeah, swimming is tough at altitude, but yeah. Uh, yeah, it's good. How are you? Yeah, it was quite good. I think a little bit of the same, of course. I think uh, the first week, one and a half weeks were quite tough, especially in the swim. If you flip turn, you're already out of breath. But uh, I think after two weeks, it was going to be better and better. And I think we did some good training over here. Yes. Now almost going down and on to uh, Salau next, uh, next Sunday. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah, hopefully we'll have a, we'll have good weather so it will be a triathlon <laughs> and no duathlon yeah it's right we'll yeah. see so uh, thank you Milan for joining me yeah thank you as well for and the structure uh, you gave me <laughs> seven o'clock in the morning <laughs> the alarm was ringing and we had to go uh, to the bus to take or to get to the swimming pool so yeah, thank yeah. you for that <laughs> well, was uh, three nice weeks over here and now it's time to race Last evening together in Andorra, some pizza and Netherlands vs Germany football.